let me introduce um, Spencer Ilo, who's um, going to do a quick session on how to connect Storm streaming um, with H2O so that you can use polls to do scoring. So he's put together a very interesting um, training class, followed by how to connect Tableau with H2O. So the two interesting um, talks that are lightning talks and demos. So. Uh, I know it's the end of the day, so I'll try and keep this short and sweet. I'm going to be talking about real-time predictions with H2O on Storm. Um, so let's just get started. We'll dive right in. Um, the idea is that H2O provides uh, POJOs uh, as output from models from uh, GBM or random forest models or deep learning. And uh, you can take that raw Java code and just stick it in a storm bolt and uh, you know, have at it. So what we'll cover very quickly is uh, how we use R to build a GBM model, um, exporting the GBM model as a Java POJO, uh, copying it into a storm bolt, and then uh, running and watching predictions in real time. Uh, very quickly, I'll go over what the data set looks like that we'll be using. Um, because it's Storm and because we're, we're H2O, uh, it's gonna be, we're gonna be making it rain, cats and dogs. Uh, so the label here is cat or dog, and then there's some features here that are just made up. Um, so there's some integer features here, um, and then as we go along, there's some noisy uh, real data features, or um, doubles. So there's all kinds of different features here, uh, categorical. Um, so we train a model on this data set, and then we, we score and uh, generate a Java POJO. So I'll show you how that's done with some very simple R code. Uh, so here's the R code is here. Let me try to see if I can zoom in on that. Uh, here we go. So the kind of standard thing that you've been seeing all day today, the init. Uh, we import the data set, which is right inside of, inside of the directory under uh, storm streaming. You'll see training data CSV. Uh, no, no extra paths are needed. Uh, the X is gonna be all of the, all of the, all of the uh, features in the data set. Y is the label, cat or dog. Um, we're gonna generate some uh, some POJOs, some Java code, and we're gonna put it in a, a directory called generated model. Uh, if you have trouble doing this on your own, we have a pre-made generated model directory already here for you, um, and some, the rest of this is just commands of how you extract the Java code from the H2O instance. So I'll go ahead and run this uh, right here. So I'm just gonna run this guy. So I'm already inside of the directory. I can show you that. I'm in tutorial streaming storm. Um, go ahead and run. So this will start up a, a JVM, an H2O instance, run through this. So it's importing the data. It's a thousand rows, and it, it already ran the GBM and made all the, all the right code. Um, the output is here under generated model. We can see what that looks like. Uh, so you get a, a class, a class called GBM POJO, and that's that's literally all you need to to really know about what the 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 model looks like as output. You can scroll through this, make this a little smaller, um, and see that we have each tree here from the model. We made a GBM with ten trees, uh, two classes. So each tree here per class gets gets uh, its own uh, its own Java class. And uh, this, is, this is how we predict. Um, there's a main method here that, that's really important. It's the predict call, excuse me. Uh, it's the predict call with uh, your input data row, and then there's an output. So this just takes an input data row, one, observa one, one row observation, and then makes predictions on that uh, based on the classes we just saw, so the trees. So we can see what this looks like inside of a storm bolt. I've got this pulled up on the, uh, the browser. So scroll down here. So at the bottom, this is all on, on GitHub. Um, you can follow through this tutorial to build it yourself. But the main, the main piece of work here, the, the meat, is this execute code inside of, uh, this is going inside of a bolt I'm calling prediction bolt. 
this is the, the class prediction bolt inside of my storm topology. All I do is I instantiate a new GBM POJO object. I, I take in a new uh, raw data from the tuple that I'm getting reading out of my spout, and I just jam that into the predict call right down here. So p.predict, uh, p is my GBM POJO, data is my input data, and preds is what I'm gonna be filling in. So this will be my prediction. And uh, after that, I just emit the, emit the probability and the, the class, and that's, that's literally all I do. Uh, to make it kind of fun, I, I have this, this uh, second bolt here, which writes the, the class to a file, and I use that to, to visualize it in, with D3. So let's look at the visualization. Let's go ahead and run this. So I'm running out of uh, the Storm Starter project. You can get that. That's the usual way people start with Storm. Um, and I made a, a class called H2O Storm Starter. So it has the prediction bolt and a classifier bolt. And uh, we'll go ahead and just run this. From IntelliJ, you can run it from the command line with Maven. So it's, it's booting up a Zookeeper server here, and it's going to start the Storm topology in just a second. Meanwhile, we can, we can go ahead and start looking at what this might will, will look like. So it's already emitting classes here. So you can see emitting score probabilities, emitting cat, cat, dog, dog. And then the, uh, the visualization I have here, <laughs> has it raining cats and dogs, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is happening in real time, so Storm is, is pumping out, I mean, what else are you going to do with big data, right? Um, Storm is pumping out cat observations and, and dog observations, and it's uh, changing the, the pictures that you see raining down there. Um, anyways, that's it, that's all I got. Do you have any quick questions for Spencer as uh, Amy gets set up? Uh, got one back here. <laughs> um, I, w I want to make a quick shout out to Joel Horowitz. He, uh, he supplied me with those, those great pictures, and I, you know, this whole thing couldn't have been done without him. <laughs> um, I only predict. There's no, there's no model updating there. So Pojo, Pojo is the model format that is Storm can pick, right? Um, right, so Storm is, is a Java project, um, and it, the Pojo is just a plain old Java object. Uh, so all I'm doing there is just, I have a, a, a Java class that I just, I call in. So Pojo is just a plain old Java object. Okay. Other yeah. other model format, the thing what the you know Storm would pick here. Um, uh, other model format like so XML or you know PMML. Oh or sure. So there are other Storm projects that allow PMML, but this is just pure Java code and has zero allocation. It's it's lightning fast. Uh, the scores come out um, in nanoseconds, so it runs through those those trees very quickly. Yeah, one of the things we can you can sometimes run into with like things like PMML is that you now actually have to have some software that then interprets that and then creates some Java code. Um, with uh, the way that we do it here with the POJO, we basically are able to create optimized code exactly for um, for the results that came out of the model, and so we get the, a, a nice guarantee on speed when we kick out this POJO and we just hand it to you and say, hey, use this instead of taking a more abstracted set of values and then trying to reinterpret that again. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, so